So this scam starts with an email from PayPal and an invoice for $453 for a Bitcoin transaction. Now I didn't buy this Bitcoin, so I decided to give them a call. And of course they provided us with an American number. So with the help of Proton VPN, we flew over to America. Thank you for calling PayPal. This is Sam. How can I help you today? Ah uh, yes, hello Sam. Um, I got this email saying that I have this four hundred and fifty dollar charge for um cryo exchange or something. I don't know what it's all about, and I just need to get this fixed up. Can you help me with that? Yeah, I can help you with that. Can you please help me with any order number, any invoice number that you can see? Uh just looking at it now. It's got a transaction ID. Is that the number you want? Yeah, please show that. Yeah, it's six five five four one eight. One eight. And like does the email tell you what was bought, like what item or product was bought? Uh it says it's from the cryo exchange or something. Okay. Um and it says blockchain ledger something receiving charges okay. so i hope this isn't like because i don't want to be like frozen or anything do not worry i'm just going to look this invoice for you before that like you did not authorize this payment at your end right no i don't even know what it is i don't i don't want to be cryogenically frozen or anything when i die i'd rather be cremated okay um just just one more thing like are you a registered customer on paper yes okay just please hold, hold on for a minute while i check this invoice details for you okay thank you thank you for your patience sir like i just checked that this payment was made from a paypal account only and this payment is still under process so i'm hoping like you did not receive any messages from your bank yet um no i well i can check on my bank but yeah i haven't got any messages from them Okay, that's great for us. It's lucky. Like, can we can cancel this payment right away before anything gets charged because this payment is under process. It would almost take the next 24 hours to approve it at both ends, right? So before that happens, we can cancel this payment right away. Okay, uh, great. Yeah, I just wanna ask you, like, is it possible that any of your friends or family might have access to your accounts and they might have made this payment on your behalf? I hope not. Okay, so I can see, I'm just checking this invoice on my system and I'm trying to locate the location. I mean, I had this thing happen probably maybe about six months ago when I had some people in my bank account and they, they took about $5,000 out of my bank account. They tried to take a lot more, but luckily the bank stopped it. But yeah, I hope that's not happening again. Uh, I hope the same, sir. Like, I can, ju it's, it's just coming up on my system right now. Uh, like, I can see this payment was made from Ohio. Like, are you a resident of Ohio? No. Are you not? So, you like, you don't know anybody at Ohio, right? No connections at all? No, I'm in, I'm in California at the moment. I'm on holiday. I don't live here. I don't live in America. I've been here for probably about three months now, but yeah. Okay, I'm so sorry about this inconvenience that you have faced, sir. I, I like to tell you that for any money that has been charged for you, we'll be initiating a refund. Also, we'll be cancelling this payment before anything more happens right now. So, you're I not this person from Ohio, but like I think someone has got hold of your credentials somehow. I don't know how. Like, did you recently get connected to a public Wi Fi? Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. I've been down at Starbucks and things like that. Okay, no issues. And also, like, did you recently use your, like shared your credentials and like while buying something online on any website, or did you share it on any social media platform or something? Uh, only with Amazon, and I've been on Amazon and like Netflix and things like that. But I don't know. Yeah, like that's great. Okay, like that won't be an issue. Like these are the good trusted websites all around the world, so that won't be it. But uh, I cannot be sure how they have your credentials, but someone has got it and they're using your PayPal account. And I'd like to tell you, sir, that you have got a PayPal credit limit for over $5,500, right? And the same PayPal credit limit was used to make this payment for $450, right? Okay. Okay, so what we gotta do here is right now, first of all, uh, we need to connect you to a PayPal secure server through all which right. we'll be verifying your identity first, that you are not this guy from Ohio, right? No. No, well, I haven't been to Ohio, not at all. Okay. I've been to Oahu in Hawaii, and I've been to California, and I'm in California right now. Okay, that's too far from Ohio, anyways. 
So like yes, so we'll be verifying your identity that you know that this guy who made this payment. Also, we'll be helping you to secure your balances and accounts right away. And thirdly, we need to track down this person who like whoever made this fake payments, whoever is trying to get into your account using your money. We have to like you know track them as well. Yep. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. Like they need to be shot. I'm, I'm not saying they should be shot, but I think they should be shot. Do they give the yeah, death right. penalty in Hawaii? In in Ohio? Do they give the death penalty? Uh, I hope they, they do. do. Not, but do not worry, we'll be pressing charges against them right away. Um, okay. I'm just gonna, I'll be raising a query about this issue as well. And uh, like before I cancel these payments and look up into this matter moreover, like just I told you that we'll ha first have to get you connected to a PayPal secure server. So I'd like to know, so like, are you using any Android device or it is an iOS? Uh, it's an Android. It's an Android device. Yeah. Just put the phone on speaker and like we'll have to download an application first through which I'll get you connected to the PayPal secure server. Okay. So I'll just let me know when you're on the Play Store. Uh, yeah. Alright, Play Store? Yeah, on the Play Store, I need you to find an application named AnyDesk. If you want, I can spell it out for you. Uh, yes, please. It's A as in Alpha, N as in Nancy. Yeah, A for Alpha, M for Nancy. Y for Yankee. Y for Yankee. D as in David. D for David. E as in Echo. E for Echo. S as in Sam. And K as in Kilo. S K. You see an application. Yeah, it's an it's you will see an application which will be named any desk remote application software. It would have a white diamond in between with a red background. Do you see it? Yes, I see that. Do I install that? Oh, yeah. Please install that for me. Okay. Let me know when. Uh, it's just it says it's pending all right it's just downloading now yeah. all right so do i open that up yeah open that up and you'll find a few pop-ups you need to accept everything and when you do all that at the end you'll find your address which would be a nine to ten digit number right and you'll okay. have to share that address with me just go ahead and accept everything also because i'll be raising a query can i please know your full name sir yep it's leslie baker uh, can you spell that off for me uh, Leslie is L E S L I E. L E L I E, okay. Leslie yep. Baker, right? And then Baker, like oh. being a baker, but I'm not a baker. I got it, I got it. Yeah. Yeah, so I am also writing an email about the same issue to the fraud prevention department team as well while I, you're on the call, right? Okay. Thank you very much. It's a little bit scary when. Yeah, you find out people are like trying to steal your money and these yeah, scumbags. Yeah, this is this is literally the third case which has the same issue. Like, I don't know how, but this is happening daily. Like, I've been doing this daily. Like, people are scamming people of their money, and I'm so sorry about that, sir. Yeah, well, these people that scam, I reckon they should all be lined up and uh, sh they should be shot in the back of the head, and then the bullet should be sent to their family, and their family should have to pay for the bullet. Anyway, I've got this address for you now. Yeah, just please help me with those numbers. Yep. It's 1487 Now I'll be sending you a session request, right? Uh, you'll see two check boxes that you trust this call and like you'll be sharing everything because from now on we'll be monitoring your accounts and everything to track awesome. down this payment and everything, right? Yeah, like so you, you'll see two check boxes, you need to hit those and accept that. And once you accept that, you will have to start broadcast, right? You'll find okay. an option like start broadcasting. Fantastic. I'll send you a special request right now. All right, so it says security warning. You're back to ground control in your device. I trust yeah, this call. Um, okay. Um, oh, sir, I would like to ask you, meanwhile, like, uh, uh, have you ever been any victim of identity fraud before as well? Well, I, like I said, there was about six months ago, I was, I was had this issue with Amazon and I had like $5,000 gone missing out of my bank account. I don't know if that counts as identity fraud. I don't know exactly what that means or if that makes sense. Yeah, I get it, sir. I, uh, okay, uh, just hold on for a minute. I'm just going to put this call on full hold for a minute, right? Just please be on the call, right? Okay. Thank you for your patience, sir. Like, I was trying to get you connected, but it failed somehow. It was some server error. Like, could you share that uh, address once again with me? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, please, it's 1487 929 024. 
Okay, I send you a request once again. Just hit those tick boxes and hit accept. Yeah. Once you do that, start broadcasting. I've got the red box and it says I trust this call, but I've got to wait a couple of seconds. All right, I trust this call. Hit, ex um, hit the box accept. Hit accept. Start yeah, now. Start broadcast. Yeah, just start broadcasting. Yep. Okay. And it says um, something is viewing my desk. Yeah, now you got connected to the PayPal secure server now. Uh, now, like I told you, like I am writing an email to the fraud prevention department team of PayPal because this case would be later forwarded to them, right? Also, I'm raising a query as well about the same issue to the to my superior as well right now. So I'm on it right now. Just please be on the call for a minute. Also, right. like, can you also just just please please be on the call for a minute while I do this for you? Yep, Thanks. you're right. Thank you for your patience, sir. Like, I'm just gonna tell you that while I'm write, writing this query for you, can you please, uh, like, just check your balances and everything. Like, is there any suspicious payment going on? If you see something like that, please tell me about that. I'm gonna update about this thing as well. So just okay. check your PayPal accounts, yeah, PayPal accounts or any balances through your bank. If you see any suspicious payment that you're not aware of, please do let me know about that. Ah, uh, yeah, all right, I'll just have a look. Thank you, sir. Um, I'm gonna put you on hold once again while I'm writing this email and everything. Okay. All right, I'm thank you. Thank you, I appreciate your help. Thank you for your patience, sir. I have just sent an email to the Fraud Prevention Department team of PayPal about this issue. Also, I've raised a query against your name for the same thing as well. Uh, yeah. Like, uh, did you find anything suspicious at all? Did you check your balances and everything? All's good, right? Ah, uh, yeah, my bank's good at the moment, yeah. Now, just please be on call for a minute. I'll be transferring this call to the fraud prevention team of PayPal right now. All right, thank you very much. Thank you for holding the line. This is Kevin from Fraud det Detection Team. How may I help you, sir? Hi, Kevin. How are you today? Um, I was talking to Sam, and he said that um, he's transferred me to you. There's some $450 yep. charge for this cryogenic facility or something that I don't quite understand what it is but it wasn't me and I had nothing to do with it and I just want to make sure it's all been cancelled and fixed up oh. mm -hmm. I'll just uh, read your file first just be online sir thank you thank you for holding the line sir that's okay yeah like, and like as I can see this one the transaction has been done from the location Ohio so do you live in Ohio no no, I'm I'm in California at the moment, but I don't usually live in America. I'm traveling around at the moment. So, like, have you recently been to Ohio? Oh. No, no. I went to Oahu, mm -hmm. which is in Hawaii. Was it Oahu or Ohio? Because I haven't been to Ohio. Ohio. Yeah, I haven't been there. All right, so uh, I can see a name, David. Do you know anyone by this name? Like this person, David, is using your account. Uh, David yeah, I know some Davids, I know I know a couple of Davids, it's a fairly common name, but not yeah, in Ohio, uh, I don't know anyone in Ohio, I can't even say it properly. David Bryan, the last uh, name is Bryan, sir, David Bryan. Do no, I anyone? don't, I don't know a David Bryan, no. Alright, sir, like, as I can see, like, there are suspicious activities going with your PayPal account, I can see, like, uh, this David guy is uh, doing some transaction from, like, last three days. So I'll just suggest you to just go to your banking app and check if you have uh, any deduction, like if you found anything suspicious, any transaction which you do not authorize, just go and check for it first. All right, I'll just have By a look. Time. Yep. Mm -hmm, yeah, just uh, make sure you haven't got deducted any money. Just check for it. All right, just give me one sec. Yeah, sure, sir. For now, like we have freezed your account so that that guy cannot do any more transaction. But Excellent. we have to take this. That he won't, he don't uh, use your any credential, right? Because if he's having your credential, he can get anything. Like he can apply for loan and your name. He can just apply for credit cards as well. And you will be the uh, one who will be ending up paying, right? So just, yeah, I don't uh, I don't understand these scumbags. I don't understand how how they can sleep at night when they steal people's money and things like that. I don't get it. I hope that um I hope that they get what's coming just, to them. Yes, sir. They like uh, they do not have anything else to do, sir. Just do these kind of things only. They just uh, scam people. So yeah. just make sure, like, you haven't, uh, like, if you've been charged for anything. Just yeah. So ahead. there's there's no transactions on my account, on my bank account. Um. Just check, uh, like, 
just go and check it in your PayPal, sir. Because like what happens is like whenever you do transactions, what these scammer do? They just uh, <coughs> they just use uh, whenever they do any transaction, like it showed uh, up after like 24 hours, so it takes time as well. So just uh, make sure like you haven't received any transaction in recent three days. Just check it for me once. Yeah, I'm just logging into PayPal now. I can't see anything in PayPal either. So hopefully we've mm -hmm. stopped so it like in time. For now, for now, sir, like we have connected your phone with a secure server. So you just have to make sure like you log in into your phone. Yeah, I'm just doing it on my tablet. It's a bit easier for me to see on the tablet. So I don't have all the banking apps on my phone. Uh -huh. Is it an Android or, a, or like an iPad? My tablet, it's an iPad. It's an iPad, so do me one favor. I'll just go ahead and secure your iPad first because okay. all your transactions have been uh, you have, you have been doing it from uh, your iPad, right? So we have to make sure because uh, all your credentials are there in your iPad. So we'll secure that as well. So just do me one favor. Just go to your App Store. Yep. And uh, install the AnyDesk application into it. I'll just uh, spell it for you. Uh, it's the same one I downloaded on this one, isn't it? Uh, yes, sir. But you are telling me like you do all your transactions from your iPad, right? So we have to make sure that like, uh, that guy doesn't have access to your device. So we yeah. just connect it to us, your server, and we get to know. So just uh, let me know whenever you open your app store. I'll guide you what to do. Exactly. Okay. All right. I'm on the app store. So it's just the same thing, isn't it? Any desk? Just download any desk. A as in Alpha, N as in Nancy, Y as in Yankee, D as in David. That same any desk. Uh, Install it and do let done. Yeah, it's just downloading now. All right, I've got it going. Do you want this number again? Uh, yes, sir. One second. Just let me just write it down for you. One second. Yes, sir. You can just uh, tell me what the number is exactly. Yeah, it's one four eight six. One four eight six. Uh, three two three. Three two three. Yep. Nine one six. Nine one six. All right, sir. One second. Let me just process it. So this is just going to pop up the same as this one did, is it? Hello? 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 Yes, sir. I'll just repeat that number for you. Uh, is it 14863239161? Yep, that's, right? that's correct. And uh, like, do you have any internet connection? You just have to turn on your internet connection as well. Then only you will be receiving pop-up from our side because we have to make sure that uh, your IP address isn't compromised. You understanding, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's on. It's, yeah. it's ready to go. Yeah, now you'll uh, see pop up one second. Thank you. Sir, are you, uh, just one second. You are in your AnyDesk application, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at the big red screen right now. Yes, sir, but like we are, we are it is showing that your device is offline. Uh, it's not offline, I just connected to the internet to download the AnyDesk. Okay, sir, just do, do one thing, just uh, close your application of this AnyDesk and uh, just open it again. Okay. And I'll try. Uh, yeah, it's back in, back up now. One second, sir. I'll just reinitiate it for you. Sure. Just be online, sir. I think that the scammer might be trying to block you. Just okay. Online. I really appreciate online. your help, Kevin. I know it must be hard working against these scumbags, but yeah, you're doing a good job. And are you sure, sir, like your phone is connected with the internet? Yep. Oh? Yep. Okay, just uh, one second. Let me check it. So do one thing, just uh, turn on your airplane mode on and then turn it off after five seconds. Okay. As I can see, like your device is compromised, so that's why it is not allowing us to do our work. That guy is trying to stop us. All right, I just went airplane mode and, and then off. Now just uh, turn on this uh, AnyDesk application again. Yep, I'm back into it. Well, that what phone keeps see? going pop that or something. Is someone listening to the yeah. call or something? No sir, no one is listening to this call. This call is being recorded. Uh, it just keeps popping in and out like someone's like recording it all. When I was a kid, my parents used to listen to our phone calls and every time they pick up the phone, they'd you'd hear them connect when they were in the bedroom or whatever. And I was talking to my friends. All right, sir, like uh, just one more time, try to close the app application of any desk and try to open it again. Let me try it once more. Yeah, on the iPad or the the Android? On the iPad, sir. Okay. The Android. Mm. All right, back into it. Now, do you see any request? You will see pop up from our back end team. Uh, yeah, got the pop up. So go Getting trust. The pop -up. Trust this connection. And then accept. And then start now. 
All right. So sense. do me one thing. Like uh, I think your I think your uh, iPad is compromised. So do one thing. Just uh, open your Android phone again and try to log in with your credential. Just take credential from your iPad and try to log in into your phone. I'll just guide you how to do it exactly. Okay. On the Android. But you just connected to my yeah. iPad, didn't you? It says yes. it says um like PayPal is connected. Mm -hmm. Just uh, open the Chrome browser in your Android phone. Playing Candy Crush. No issue, sir. All right, I have the Google Chrome up. Uh, did you see the search bar on the top? Uh, yeah, where it says Google.com. Just click on that. Yep. Uh, type uh, p uh, type PayPal.com. Uh, PayPal.com. Yes, and try to log in into it. Now try to uh, log in into this, sir, because uh, for now, like we have secured this device. So just uh, open it and check if there is any recent transaction. All right, I'm logging in now. So take your time. All right, I'm logged in. Yeah, I can't see anything there. Have you logged in into your PayPal? Yep. I cannot see that, sir. Uh, I can see it. Hey, sir, I think this online thing is not working. So what you can do is you can just uh, go to any PayPal certified store and uh, make a transaction. Yep. Like any small transaction and then uh, just provide me the receipt and I'll uh, forward it to the government to prove okay. that you do not belong to Ohio and you are not the same person. So may I know okay. like, uh, is there any PayPal certified store near you? Uh, oh, there should be. I'm not quite sure. I've only been here a couple of weeks, so I'm not quite sure of the area, but yeah, I can certainly find something. Mm -hmm. Just uh, check if uh, there is any store nearby. Uh, let me have a look. Uh, yeah, it looks like there's one in, one in L.A. Mm -hmm. So you're currently deciding in L.A.? Yes. Okay, so uh, I think you are just uh, kidding with us because I can see, I can track your IP address. I know like you do not belong to L.A. You are in California. I can see that, sir. So it's up to you. Like if you think we are scam or we are doing something fishy here, so you can disconnect this call. And if you lose any money, do not blame PayPal for it. You do know that the L.A. is in yes. California. Like mm -hmm. California is a state and LA is a city. Yeah, so uh, this guy just help me with that. Like, do you have any store nearby? Yeah, I'm just looking up online. It says there's there's one here in LA. LA is in California. I don't know what you're saying. You think I'm yeah, tricking yeah. you. I just want to make sure that no one's stealing my money. That's all. So just check, like, uh, if there's any store nearby you. Just uh, type it in your Google or something. Yeah. So that, you know, like, there. How far is it? Uh, it just says LA, California. I'm not exactly sure what the address is. Let me try that again. So, uh, just, uh, mm, just search for any PayPal certified store like Walgreens, Walmart. I can just go to Walmart, can I? Yeah, yeah you can go. Is it how far is Walmart? Oh, about five minutes walk. Uh, so you can just uh, do that. You can go to Walmart. And I'll guide you what to do exactly. All right. So do let me know once you leave your house. Just carry uh, all your debit cards and credit card with you and uh, your ID as well. All right. Well, just give me a moment. I'm just going to put some shoes on. And um, then I'll yes, head out. Sir. Sure, sir. Take your time. All right, you there, Kevin? Yes, sir. All right. So what do I have to do? I'm I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. So what do I have to do when I get to Walmart? Okay, so uh, you just have to go to the Walmart and just uh, check for the gift card section. Yeah. I'm just writing it down. So and gift card gift section. Card section. You can write down my callback number. Yes, sir. Like there will be a counter for gift cards. So you just have to buy one gift card and then uh, send me the receipt of it. And I'll attach it to your documents. That okay. will, uh, will be able to show the government that you do not, you are not the same person. You are not in Ohio, and uh, this account is a uh, like a case of identity theft. And we'll try our best to like block this account for you. For now, awesome. we have uh, like, yeah, like we have freezed this account. Yeah. So that he cannot make any transaction. But we we are like still founding something suspicious. Like uh, maybe he was trying to do some online purchase as well. So you just have to be uh, like fast. Okay. Before he like uh, any damage. So um, so yeah. Does it matter what kind of gift card? Just anything. Just buy something, just uh, to show that yeah, I'm like in. Yeah, you can uh, go for app you can go for Apple gift card because uh, like with Apple gift card we can like uh, the government can easily get to know about your transaction. Because, okay. Uh, Apple no, okay. it works faster than any other card. So All right. It will be uh, helpful for us also. Yep, no problem. So you just have to go there and buy, just go and buy there, buy a gift card. Like you can just uh, take a gift card of five hundred dollars, and uh, if somebody will ask you like, what, why are you buying this? You just have to make sure because we do not know. Tell them it's because of the PayPal. Yeah, because we do not know like 
if mm, because we do not know uh, whomsoever is involved in this maybe someone from your bank can also be involved in this maybe from your store nearby your neighbors anybody can be yeah person, sure right so you okay you have to make sure just you can you can just give them excuse like it's your nephew's birthday or just want to gift him this card all right let's play smart i'll be online with you i can um, play smart all right and so what do I just and I just call you back on this number when I get that done? No, I I'll be online with you. Don't worry about it. You, you can just write down my callback number. Uh, yep. Yeah. I'll give you my personal number as well, yeah. so that sure. if in case this call get disconnected, you can connect with me. All so right. Just write down my number. Do you have pen and paper handy? Yep. <laughs> All right. I really appreciate your help, Kevin. Like you're doing a really good thing for society. Just want you to know that. So. No. Yeah, this is our work, so. All right. This is my responsibility to your right. All right. Well, I'll go get this sorted out and I'll give you a call back. Mm -hmm. Hey, sir. My, I'm Kevin. Remember? We had word. Oh, yeah. Kevin. How are you? I'm just okay. walking down there now. All right, sir. Just to play safe there. Yeah. They will ask you questions. You just have to play smart, sir. Yeah. Do let me know once you're out of the store and then we'll look. Just yeah. take the picture of your receipt and we'll forward it to the government by the time i'm just making your file so how far is walmart now uh, i think it's uh, i think another block or two all right so just take your time for the for the time being like we're monitoring your account as well so you don't have to worry about anything sure thank you all right so just call me back on the same number once you get it all right no worries. i'll give you a call back when i'm mm -hmm. when i'm done sure so sure i'll be waiting all right, thanks, mate. Yeah, thanks. Hello. Yeah, hi, Leslie. Kevin, how are you? So I'm yes. here at the Walmart yes, and I'm looking at these gift cards. They don't have five hundred dollar mm -hmm. ones. They only have one hundred dollar ones. So do I get one of them or do I get get five of them or one of them or? Just five hundred one, and uh, you will be refunding the amount with this call only. Don't worry about it. All right, we'll so get I, the receipt, then we will transfer it back. So Just I have to get. Do not talk to me in front. Mm -hmm. So I have to get five of these because they only have the one hundred dollar ones. They don't have five hundred dollar ones. All right, I'm just walking up okay, to the so cashier they now. Okay, do not have. Uh, okay. Just uh, uh all right. So just buy five hey, of how them. You going? Very well. How are you? I'm good. I just want to get these gift cards. Yeah, what, what have you got there? Just these Apple cards. What five of them? Five, yes, one hundred dollar ones. Um, well, it's against our policy to give away so many. Well, what is that for? Really for? Well, I need them because um, I have this issue with PayPal, and they've told me I need to get these to prove that I'm here in California. PayPal, well, we've had a number of issues with the, giving out these kind of cards out due to scams and some flawed activity. What exactly are they for? I mean, PayPal. Did what do you, you mean? I'm not scamming or... anyone. It's just gift cards. I'm, I'm not just buying saying you're scamming cards. anything. I'm just saying that it's not our policy to give away so many gift cards unless you can give a valid reason. Well, I have. There's, there's paperwork I need to fill out as well. Oh, hang so on, a, hang what, on a sec. Who, uh, hey, Kevin. Kevin. Yes, yes, sir. Um, look, this guy. They, they say they're not going to sell them to me. They reckon that it's to do with a scam or something. No. Trying to yeah, tell them I'm not what, scamming, that someone's scamming me, and you, I just I yeah, don't that's know what's, why I was what, you to what to do. And do not talk Here, to do, you want, do you want to talk to him? Uh, do you want to explain it to him? Tell him what's going on. I'll put him on. What's your name? Samuel. Samuel. Here, Samuel. Talk to Kevin from PayPal. You can do one thing. Hello. Just uh, get out of the store, sir. I think that that Hello. store guy um, who is am I talking to? suspicious or something. Um, Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, who am I talking to? This is Samuel yeah, this Peters is Kevin. from Walmart. Can I help you? Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm his nephew. Hello? Yes, hello, hello. Um, this I have a, a gentleman here trying to order some, buy some cards off me, and how can you verify what they're doing is... is is not against the law and we have a number of problems up this way so 
Exactly, who are you and what, what are these? Why are we talking? These cards, what are they for? Hello? Hello? Hello, Kevin. Yes, Leslie. What, what's happening? I, the guy in I there can, says that this is a yeah. scam. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, like, uh, we I, got an information that uh, this David guy just called that same Walmart store and told them not to give you anything. Why That's would, why what? he was telling you that we are. That camera. doesn't sound right. This is this is not good, David. No, I'm, no. I'm I'm really scared. I'm worried. I'm worried they're going to call the police on me. That, I thought that they were calling we, me a scammer, and money? and I'm not I'm not doing anything. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know. If, like I don't yes, know whether yes. I should trust you. I don't know if you're scamming or like yes, I don't sir, know what's sir, going on. Sir, I'm, down, I'm really scared, did I, David. Did I ask you to? Did I ask you for money, sir? Did I ask you for anything? I was just asking for the receipt, right? I told no, you I, that this David I, guy. I, this David guy called them. I, I don't know what's I just don't know what's happening and like I said I've had people steal money out of my bank no, account sir, like, before and I'm just yeah, like, I'm really panicking I don't just I don't know what to do you I don't have just, to panic at all sir like okay. we are we are just monitoring your devices sir we got to know that this David guy informed someone at the Walmart and he was the one who was trying to stop right because you don't want us to just uh, fix this issue right because you want to use your credentials so you just have to make sure that's what I was telling you to play smart because they will ask well i did questions. i tried to just be honest and tell the truth and explain what was happening and they said that this is a scam mm -hmm. and that's that's, yeah, like that's it, not the way things yeah, work they were, they were telling you yeah these cameras are telling you that you are we are getting we are getting you like this well just scam, right i'm really so don't worry about anything do one I'm, uh -huh. I'm, now i'm gonna call no, i don't know why i'm calling you david now david's the, the bloody no. scumbag that's trying to steal my stuff Kevin, I'm sorry. I just yeah, that's why. Yeah, this David guy. We don't know like uh, how much people are working under this David guy, right? Just, he was yeah. the one who called that Walmart. Like we checked it from our end. Like we received a notification from our back end team. So do one thing. Like, is there any Wal Walgreens store nearby you? I I don't know. I don't Walmart? know. I, look, I think I'm gonna have to go home and or go sit down for a bit and have a coffee or something. I, no. This is this is just stressing uh, me okay, out, and so I just. Yeah, 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 like yeah, if something you. happens and my bank accounts get cleaned out, mm -hmm. then and I end up stuck here and yeah, yeah, and it's just that's, you know yeah, that's the, that's the concern. Okay, it's so, a huge uh, concern. Leslie, like, you know, I'm really uh, worried Leslie, about yeah, it. I just listen to me, what? Leslie, listen to me, sir. I'm listening. I can do one thing. Yeah. I can do one thing. Like, uh, can you let me know like what bank you are using? I'll just uh, raise a request for to your bank. They will call you. Uh, yeah, yeah. I have a Bank of America account, but I also have a Australian okay, account. Right. And I have a. So just just be online. Just be online. I'll just uh, raise a request. Then Bank of America will try to call you. Just be online, okay? All right. Thank then you. Your banker will tell you like what exactly is happening, because okay. uh, I know you are scared. You might be thinking that we are a schema. You don't know like anything. So just be online. Just for the peace of mind, I'll just uh, raise a request to your banker. All right. Just all be right. Online. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You will be receiving a call in within five minutes. Just be on. All right. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yeah, hey, it was this Leslie. Yes, speaking. Who is this? Leslie. Oh, Leslie, this was Ben, and I'm calling you out from the headquarters of Bank of America. We have uh, got a request from PayPal team, right? Yes. Uh, is yes. there a guy called Kevin trying to call you? Ah uh, yeah, Kevin was helping me out. This the, apparently there was like a four hundred dollar charge, four hundred and fifty dollar okay. charge for some cryogenic freezing thing that I don't even like. I said mm -hmm. to him, you know, if I if I get up when I die, I don't even want to be frozen. I want to be cremated. You know, I don't even know okay. what this cryo stuff or whatever it was was all about. Some blockchain or I don't know. I don't understand. Uh -huh. And then I went to the shop, and then they started saying. I was scamming or this was a scam or something and I just I'm like I don't want to be scammed and I don't know what's going on and yeah like yeah, I'm only yeah. I'm yeah, only I here on holidays and I don't want to um I don't want to get stuck here like I'm supposed to be here in California for another three weeks and you know if my bank accounts mm -hmm. get cleaned out and I end up stuck here and I just I'm not, not going to know what to do like I just I just I'm so worried right. right now and I'm just let, so stressed and I just you know, I, don't, I, I you. need to make sure that nothing's going to happen to my money. You know, like that's crazy. Yeah, no, to, I've had some no people steal worry. money for about six months ago. It was like $5,000 get taken out of my account and it's just, I just don't know what to Is do. Is it like a Bank of America account? No, no, it wasn't a Bank of America. 
I've got a Bank of America and I've got an account over in Australia and I've got one in England as well uh -huh. for when I travel around because that way I don't have to deal with the uh -huh. foreign currency transfer fees. I just have the different currencies in uh -huh. the different countries that when I go and visit. So okay, but yeah, I just I, All right. I don't know what to do. Just, okay, so first of all, let's I'm please scared. calm down. Okay, I'm here to help you out. Okay, if someone is trying to uh, take the money out from your account, first of all, we are going to froze that. Okay, we will not let uh, the unwanted transaction from your account. Okay. Okay. So thank we you. have received a request from the PayPal team, right? The PayPal guy is the genuine. Uh, okay. So we have re uh, got a request from their side. And we have got to know that a guy called David from Ohio is trying to take the money out from your account. He's trying to use your PayPal account balance also, like PayPal credit balance. And apart from that, your pay PayPal is linked with your bank account, right? So what yeah. he's trying to do, like he's trying to make the transaction from your bank as well, okay? But no need to worry. We have canceled all the transaction. You no need Excellent. to worry about that, okay? Yeah, right. but the I thing is that... I hope you catch this guy and I hope you... I hope you um... Yeah, you punish him as yeah, you know, with everything that you can because this is yeah. you, this is horrible and this is one thing that you know like fair line. enough taking someone's so, money, but what about the mental mental anguish that goes along with it? You know the depression and all that, and it's just you know the fear and just the feeling of being violated and it's just wrong. You know all yeah. these scammers yeah. are just because, the scum of the yeah. earth. They're the lowest of the low. You know, anyone who decides they want to be a scammer should just, they try you know, to scam, uh, they're, they're worse they try than to scam. dog poo. Sorry, I just got to be uh, carried away. Uh, no need to worry, Leslie. So do one thing, right? You are on the recorded line. Yeah. Once this thing will get over, we will transfer, we will provide these recording to the local sheriff as well, right? He, he will take care, they will take care of the all these things. Okay, apart from this, uh, PayPal team is already tracking the IP address of that guy who is in Ohio, right? Yeah, yeah. Once this thing will be done, we will try to catch them out, okay? And apart from this, the PayPal guy who was trying to help you out is the genuine one. He is a legitimate person, okay? okay. Do follow yeah. his uh, guidance. If he is asking for, like, some receipt or something like that to prove that you are not in Ohio, just follow his instruction, okay? Well, that's the thing. I tried to go and do what he said, and then the guy at the shop uh -huh. started saying that this was a scam, and it just... And I'm like, I'm not trying to scam anyone. I'm just trying to protect yeah. myself, and I'm... You know, and because I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not an American. I'm not from America. Like, I'm only here on holiday, and I just... Yeah. You know, I don't want to, don't want to like, get caught up with my visa or anything like uh -huh. that, or you know, get arrested or anything because yeah, I just don't know how things work over here. Like, you know, it's, yeah. it's just crazy. It'll just Because in America, these type of scams are already going on, okay? We are from the fraud prevention team. We are trying to stop all these type of uh, scams. We are just trying to stop all these type of transaction, okay? But what we need is we need a little bit of cooperation from your side as well. Yeah, now, I'm do trying to do thing, everything uh... that I can. I just I've done everything that he asked me to. I walked up here okay. to the... Walmart yeah, and it's... One thing. Is there any other store like CVS or 7-Eleven apart from Walmart nearby you? Um, I'm not quite sure. Or Walmart or the store? I can, I can see if I can find out. I can ask someone or see if I can find out. I'm sure okay, there's so something around now, here. There's a fairly one, big shopping just, center. Yeah, just find out any grocery store or any store which is nearby you, okay? Yep. And do, do one thing. Go to that store, right? Go to yep. the uh, card department, just pick up one card of $500 from there, okay? Load that money, $500, okay? Just provide the receipt of that card to the same guy of PayPal. No yep. need to provide any of your money, any of your account details. And whenever you will be going on the store, you don't know who is behind you, right? Who is no. with the store, right? One thing, when they will ask you, like, why are you purchasing this card? Just tell them this is for your well, own just... use. Okay. told them the this truth is... i just told them what was going on and that was the them thing they just story that you are being scammed by a guy from ohio okay do not let them know because if you will tell them that you are being scammed or something like that they will also get aware about that and they will decline the transactions okay and the same guy from ohio will try to trade the profit of this and he will make more transactions from your account in the future okay so do one thing do not let them know that you are being a scam from a guy from ohio 
okay just buy a 500 dollar card uh, uh, just uh, put the money on that and we just and provide the receipt of that amount to the paypal guy because he just want to know where are you as of now he just want to know the location yeah. and the I'm just scared of these gift card the things now cuz the what the from what I understand the guy said that they're always used for scams and I'm trying to explain to him that I'm not trying to scam anyone uh, so, so I mean, no what if I go into Mike. Starbucks? I can go into Starbucks and buy a coffee so and this I can not do. The store owner I'm just a bit scared cashier. of these gift cards. I'm, I'm not very good at lying, you know. I'm a fairly honest person. I like to tell the truth. And so if they ask me, and yeah. I'm going to feel really weird, and I'll, you know, if, if I get really nervous and, and they're Can't worried that they're going to see that I'm lying, and and then they'll call me out as but being scamming and. We are and not, I'm not, we are like I'm not a scammer, I'm a really <laughs> honest person, you know, I I, yeah, I think that um yeah. people that do that kind of thing, yeah. you know, like, they're worse than dog poo, a, you know, I'd God, have a big pile of dog scammer. poo and I'd rather like go and hang out with that than someone that scams people, you know? Yeah, uh, completely understandable, Leslie. I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm, so I'm the, just uh, a bit frustrated. Find and... another store, a store, okay, and get connect, and get in touch with the same guy from paypal he's okay. already from the fraud prevention team he's working for the government okay so he will guide you in a more better way okay okay and if you will find any any something like that you can also call bank of america and onto the same number okay all right all right well, what was your name my name is ben johnson and ben johnson. my employee right. id Y seven eight nine five. okay I, I don't have anything to write that down with but i can call you back on this number that you called me on if i need to yeah, talk to that's you that's correct you can call Thank you, Ben. I, I really number, appreciate okay? it. I, I feel like I feel like you're, you're a trustworthy welcome. person. I really appreciate it. All right. All right. And, Thank uh, you. And let's do one. Just call out that guy. He's trying to help you out. Okay. And whenever you will be going to the next one, do not let them know that you are being a scam from Ohio. Otherwise, they will be uh, thinking that you are the scammer who is trying to buy the gift card from another card. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just go to the next show. Search out where it is, like 7-Eleven, CVS. Uh, or maybe Apple Store, and let us know whenever you will reach there. Okay. All right. All right. Well, do I give you All a right. call, or do I give do I give Kevin a call? Uh, no, that's not my department. Just give uh, that PayPal person. Uh, just call to that PayPal person. Okay. I believe his name is Kevin. Right. Yeah, Kevin. I'm pretty sure his name is Kevin. Yeah. All right. Just yeah, just give him a call. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, thank you, Ben. Yeah. I really appreciate your help and. You know, I think you, yeah, the, no you guys that worry, sir. We are, are fighting these scammers, you do a really good job. And, you know, they're, like yeah, I said, they're the scum because, of the earth that these, try and steal, pe people steal from people's from money. And They try to steal my support, sir. They have already taken a lot of money from us. Yeah. So we will not give even a single penny to them now, okay? No, these they're... Pakistan and Bangladesh people, they are like fuckers. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Total fuckers. Yeah. Total and, scumbags. Yeah. Dog poo. Yeah, they have Just, already taken a lot of hell out of money from us. And I okay? think they we smell will not too. Give them even a single penny to them now. They probably smell like dog poo as well. All right, thank you anyway, yeah. Ben. All right, just follow, just follow Kevin. Find another store nearby you and go go to that store as far as fast as you can. Okay. Okay. Because this thing need need to be wrapped up as fast as you can. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go get that sorted out right now. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. Right. Just call that person uh, as fast as you can. Okay, and straightly. All right, thank you. All right, you. Leslie. Um, thank you for your time. Okay, and if you will need any help, do call me on the same number. Okay. All right, thank you so much, Ben. I really appreciate right, it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, okay. bye. Anything with anyone, right? Not even uh, with anyone. Not even with like nobody, because you don't know like who, whomsoever is involved, right? So just go and have a, a coffee. I'm not going to talk and to anyone. I'm just going to go and sit down and have a coffee and mm -hmm. and just like breathe yeah, for a just, minute. Just, and just, just have a coffee. Yeah, I just I, mm. I'm so I'm so stressed. I'm so worried. I'm so scared because you know if, yeah, if my yeah, bank account gets though. cleaned out and I end up stuck here, I can't pay for my accommodation. Or you know, or, mm. like I'm supposed to be no, going so home in a couple of weeks, and I just like you know we are in con we are in contact with your bank as well so don't worry like we have we have told them if they get anything suspicious they'll get me know so don't yeah. worry about anything if anything will happen we are here for you but yeah don't i, worry, I, have a I hope you find this Stand guy down. and i hope you i hope you string him up by yeah, his yeah, feet yeah, and and kick him in the face yeah. a few times like and 
and wipe some dog poo on his yeah, on his lips and you know i bet he already smells like Once dog poo this this disgusting scammer yeah. bastard that you know i just this i hope you know what you should do and i i don't have ohio has um capital punishment but you know what you should do you should string him yeah. up by his feet and then and then shoot him in the back of the yeah, head like we'll inform and the then send the bill for the bullet to his family because that's the lowest of the low you know there's these scumbags and you know fair enough like you know you look at oh yeah losing yeah. some money is one point but it's the the stress and everything that goes with it i don't know if i told you but i had this thing with yeah, amazon a couple of money, yeah, months yeah. ago then and they mm -hmm. had this thing and they got people yeah, like, got into my account and there's like five thousand dollars went yeah. missing yeah. and exactly. and it's just it's just heartbreaking you know the people take advantage of people yeah, and, totally understand, and people just like try and so put I'm people careful. off and just calm i'm down. just really stressed and mm -hmm. yeah i just i just don't know what to do Kevin, I, totally but understand, I, I trust just, you just i hope take, i can trust you I, you know you seem starbucks, like a decent honest person so yeah all right well i'm here at starbucks now so i'm just gonna i'm gonna sit down and have a coffee for 10 20 minutes yeah yeah sure, sure. there's a 7-eleven up the road yeah, so i'll call you back when when i'm going up to there yeah, do not disclose this with anyone. Just have a coffee, then go uh, just find a store, another store, and uh, go and purchase it. Then provide me the receipt. Do not tell anyone anything, right? Yeah. Once you're done with your coffee, you can give me a call back. All right. Just, uh, Thank you. Thank don't you, Kevin. Stress out, okay? I'm working. I here. am stressed. I'm trying not to, but well man, I'm stressed. This is this sucks. This totally sucks. I just yeah, I'm just not happy with it. Just yeah, I totally understand, sir. It's heartbreaking. Yeah. Yeah. Have, uh, yeah, work hard for this money, right? Yeah. Don't worry. It's and you do a good thing, good. Kevin, you know, looking Scam. after people being scammed and things like that. You you do a really yeah. good thing and yeah, sir, you should be my, proud. This is my and, responsibility, sir. And I, I hope your parents are proud of what you do and I'm sure they are. I'm sure they're really proud of yes, you. Sir, they, sir, surely, surely they are, sir. Thanks for All that. Right. No issues, you just calm down. I'm working on it. I'm just informing the local ohio sheriff as well about your file once we'll receive the receipt then uh, we'll be good to go and we will fix this issue within next 30 minutes once we receive it so just right. uh, have a coffee by that time i'll just freeze that account okay yeah i'm just a so bit scared no of walking into the shop and the people at the shop start calling me a scammer and all this sort of stuff and mm -hmm. yeah, no, yeah no 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 don't worry don't worry no, nobody know anything okay it's you all and right. me you don't have to discuss anything i'm not discussing your thing anything it's confidential Thank you. Recorded, so don't worry about anything. Just have Thank a coffee you. and call, I'll call me you. Back once you'll, you'll you're my you're my guardian angel, Kevin. Right. Thank you for taking care of me. All right, sir. All right. Thank you. Yeah. No issues. No issues. This is my job, sir. Have a have, just enjoy. All right. Bye. Kevin, I need help. About, just just leave the store, sir. I don't went worry. in. And they said, and I all I said was I didn't say anything about David. I said no, PayPal. You don't have, that's why I was telling you not to mention PayPal, sir. That's and why they, I was telling you to just. They said they're gonna call the police, your... and I'm really scared. No, they I, will not. I can't. I can't have this just, happen. Uh, I really I need. Just tell them. I need your help, please. Mm -hmm. Please, I need your help. Just tell. Them. Yes, oh, just calm down. Oh fuck. Just calm down. I hope they're not coming for me. Oh no. What am I gonna do, Kevin? What am I gonna do? Oh shit, there's a police car coming down the road. Oh, I hope they're gonna drive past. Oh shit, they're pulling up. They're pulling up. Fuck. Kevin, I don't know what to do. No issues. Just, just tell them that you were receiving some call from Pakistan and they were asking you to buy something, okay? Just tell them that. Oh, gotta go. Oh. <laughs> so we tried calling them back the following day and all their numbers are disconnected few other people tried to call them as well and they told me the same thing
<laughs> but did you notice how I told them I was abroad and afraid of being stuck there, afraid of being in a foreign country with my bank accounts being cleaned out, and these fucking scumbags were still going to do it. The fucking scum of the earth. And Sam, Kevin, Ben, I know you're going to watch this video because I know you watch them. Make sure you guys hit the dislike button. And if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to follow me on my scam baiting journey, hit the subscribe so you know when we post more videos. And to everyone that has joined us, Thank you. I really appreciate it.